to the How to Manage Your Manager series, where in previous videos I've spoken about the seven strategies of managing upwards. I also spoke about how to manage the different types of managers, which were the bully, the good, the star, and the parent manager. Today I'd like to talk about how to manage the geek manager. And in case you have missed the previous videos, I will leave those links in the description. So how do you differentiate geek managers from any other manager? Geek managers have the following characteristics. Number one, they know their stuff better than anybody else, especially when it comes to technical matters and standard operating procedures and company policies. Number two, they often lack people's skills. And number three, they are typically promoted from within based on the hard work and the analytical thinking that they often possess which have given them the opportunity to rise among the ranks. Number four, they prefer to use expertise over managing people because that is the area of comfort and their comfort zones. Number five, they are very logical and analytical. So in order to effectively deal with them, you must present information with lots and lots of background details and in a logical and sequential fashion. Number six, they are excellent at leading like-minded people, so therefore they suffer and struggle with cross-functional teams. So how do you manage the geek manager? There are six strategies that I want to share with you. Number one, find an effective mode of communication that is suitable to them, which means that number two, email can be that effective mode of communication and use it to ask questions and get feedback. Number three, they may be better outside the office, so go out to lunch and hash out some of the personal issues that you may have. Number four, view yourself as an apprentice and always be on the receiving end of information and you may soak up a lot of their knowledge and expertise. Number five, pay attention. They often know things that are not taught in school and you can greatly benefit from them. And finally, ask lots of questions to get a lot of communication from them and open up the channels of discussion and dialogue. This concludes the series of how to manage your manager. In the upcoming videos, I'll be talking about different topics on leadership, customer service, emotional intelligence, conflict resolution, and influential communication. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Please do not forget to follow me on my socials and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to hear your stories and experiences in dealing with different types of managers and some of the techniques you have used in effectively doing so.